Morgan Wooten compiled a remarkable record in his 46-year career at DeMatha High School. Under Wooten, DeMatha won 87% of their games and multiple national championships. Inducted into the Naismith National Basketball Hall of Fame in 2000, Wooten is widely regarded as one of the best teachers in the history of the game. In this presentation, Morgan Wooten teaches effective tactics for man-to-man -man offense, including the five-game motion offense, and effective set plays, including the flex. Coach Wooten also presents a number of drills to develop the fundamentals and timing needed for crisp execution. Then Coach Wooten will introduce you to key facets of the fast break with accompanying drills to your quick striking attack. Now from DeMatha High School, here's Coach Morgan Wooten. Hello, I'm Morgan Wooten and welcome to DeMatha High School. Today we're going to take a look at man-to-man -man offense and then the best offense of them all, the fast break. Good teams get a certain amount of points off their transition offense. But sometimes you got to settle down and run that solid half-court man offense. Let's go to work and take a look at man offense now. One thing that every team needs to do is have a solid way to attack good man-to-man -man defenses that are around in basketball today. Key words are spacing. Spacing and movement of men and movement of the ball. Our passing game at DeMatha, which we call the five game, really enables us to get those good features in our man-to-man -man offense. Let's bring our postman out. First, our five man comes above the block. Our four man lines up on the opposite side above the block. Our three man goes over on the right wing and he uses a three-point line and we call it the foul line extended as his basic alignment. Our two man, our other wing, we would start at the foul line extended, line up on the three-point line here, and then our point guard would be in the middle of the floor. But initially remember this, you don't want your point guard in the middle. He's got to pick a side to trigger the offense. In this, the rule is very simple, and we have very few rules, a lot of suggestions, but very few rules. If the point man is going to pick a side and hit the wing, he can't just stand. He has to screen away or replace himself or basket cut. Then we're always looking inside. When the pass is made, the on-post man will screen away, and the off-post man will use that screen to get open. We come down, hit the right wing, good dribble penetration, Hit him, we look inside, there's a screen away there, and a screen away there. Now we've got a real good overload. The wing's first look is inside. Later he can take his man one-on-one, because -on -one, the defense is so involved guarding four and five. Two will get a lot of great shots. The one man is screened away, we have a new point man. Nothing's open inside, we reverse the ball. Reverse it again, and now we have two screen aways again going on. We step fake, we rip off the screen, the post men come high low. We look inside again. This time when we reverse it, we're going to be able to hit our low post man who gets a screen away for a shot. We reverse it, hit, we hit, screen away. He uses the low screen, he's open inside. And that gives you the good post movement to use a post man inside as a real threat. The second type of thing that will develop off this, the defense may start to sag and collapse because your post man is a threat to score. Now, the screen away will maybe get us a jump shot near the foul line area. We hit, we look inside, he's not open, comes off hard, there's our jumper. And always, of course, is the key thing. You must rebound your offense. Rebound the offense. So often in basketball at any level, three of the five guys will stand around and watch. You've got to put your team on the offensive board and keep one person back for defensive purposes. Let's take a look now at how we can't hit the low post, but we'll hit the high post who will be able to look low and go inside. So we hit. Here are our screenaways. High post is open. He looks inside on a seal. You'll get that constantly because, as you'll see in a minute, the defenses will try to front that postman. And when he gets fronted, that's exactly what you want. So you got all these things that can develop. The defense is working so hard to defend that post screen. They're working so hard to defend that screen away 
that now number two, since almost all the defense is occupied, has a real good one-on-one -on -one advantage against his defender, and he can take him for a ride and get, to, get a shot. And then we rebound the shot. That a baby, good. And again, we have one man back, the point guard always handling defense. The point guard may have trouble against good pressure defense getting the ball on the wing. So we use what we call a shallow cut in which we will dribble him out. But the rule stays the same. If the ball's on the wing, everybody's busy screening away. Here comes a shallow cut. Doesn't have it, okay, he reverses it, swings it, and here are screenaways again. Good, reverses it again. Shallow cut, shallow cut right out of there, shallow cut. He looks inside. All right, good. You see the basic movement you're getting off that, and you're never losing your spacing. Now we put a defense out here so we get a more realistic look at how the 5-1-5 five five will work when we're running our motion offense. First, watch the way that we're going to be able to hit the wing, and we're going to be able to throw the ball inside off the screen successfully to our low post man. So we come hard right, he picks his side, he hits, he screens away, that screen in there. All right, bring it back out. Now we have a situation where they don't get open inside, we reverse it, and it will open up after they get it reversed the second time around. Here we go. He looks, but he's covered in there, he's covered. Reverse it, screen away again, now he's open and an excellent use of the dribble penetration by the wing to feed the postman. Let's say, for example, now that the low post is covered. So the high post coming off the screen will get the ball. Here we go. Now Look at the way four is able to seal his man on his back and get the good high-low pass very essential that we do it that way. Another good way to put the ball on the wing is what we call a circle. On a circle, two will go all the way through and take three's place. One will drive here and we'll just circle our three perimeter players. Okay, here we go. And again, you get your mismatch, you've got good ball movement, you've got real good circulation going on there, which is exactly what you're looking for in a man-to-man -man offense. Let's say one of your postmen have the ability to play on the wing, and you want to get him involved. We we'll go back to a regular five-game set, and this way we're going to end up with five screens for four, nothing's in there, we we'll reverse the ball, we're going to screen down to put four in the action. Good, good, and rebounding the offense again, which is good. Against pressure defenses, it's an excellent idea to use sets to break down their pressure. One set that we like to use sometimes is what we call staggered. The postman and the wing, and they're high. The other two are down low. But the rules of the five game are the same. If the ball gets to the wing on a dribble, Two pops out, he's our new point guard. Three pops out late. And we look inside without a screen initially because it's a good way to feed the post. He drives hard, comes out, we swing, we swing. Great post feed. All right, let's say in this situation, we can't feed the post when we get the ball reversed. Then the low post can screen for the high post. And look what we get there. Again, spacing, movement, the two postmen working as a team, the three perimeter men working as a team. Now we're going to put the defenders on these guys. All right, on this particular stagger, we're going to get the ball reversed and feed the low post.
This time we can't feed the low post on the reversal, so the low post will screen for the high post. Good work. Now we don't always have to pick the high side, we can drive to the low side, and that would bring the three man up to the point, and then we could come this way, driving low. All this is real good movement, but remember, any time a player can take his man one on one, he goes ahead and takes him. This will happen quite frequently. The one man driving hard may go all the way to the basket because everybody's busy screening and moving. Back here we go, go hard. Everything's cleared out for him, and they're so busy defending how those other four, we got the ideal one on one situation. If you have the type of team, then maybe you don't have a lot of post players, but you have a lot of players that are very in interchangeable. The flex has become a very popular offense to run. Flex starts off with a one-man front, our point guard, the one man. He's going to pick a side, and if he drives right, then the off-post man will come high and hold him right there. That gives you a two-man front on your offense now as opposed to your traditional one-man front. You now have two guards in your offense. Once the ball is reversed, our first look is at the flex cut. The wing is cutting off the postman, and the postman steps out. If he's in there, we'll hit him. He's in there. We hit him. There's a shot. We rebound the offense. The man who swings the ball out front will always screen down. So we keep all five guys interchanging. Here we go. Fix the right side. We hit. He cuts. We screen down. This puts everybody in the perimeter. We look. Swing, here's the flex cut, not in there, here's the screen down, we reverse it, step out, hit, now screen down, all right, let's see if we can pick the speed up a little bit, all right, step down, boom, this time he's in there, all right, bring it back out, you can break the pattern like you can any pattern, anytime you can beat your man, anytime you can get, obviously, a real good shot. Let's turn it over one more time. Here we go. Screen down. That's it. That's it. Good. Looking in there. Hit. All right. All right. Good. Good. Swing. Keep moving it. That's it. Good. Flex. All right. Good. Screen down. Travis will take his man one-on-one -on -one now. So you can break the pattern any time and rebound the offense. So we never know who's going to be open. As Bob Cousy used to say years and years ago, one of the great point guards to play the game, just hit the open man and good things will happen. You don't try to invent a play, the play will make itself. Now let's take a look at the flex offense against five defenders. And all we're going to ask the offense to do is hit the open man. Initially, the very first flex cut will probably be open. All right, here we go. Flex. We hit. First cut. It's in there. Very hard to defend. What will happen, the defender guarding the screener is going to get off the screener, so we're able to pass to the screener. Here we go. Going to help on the cutter. That will open up quite a bit when you run the flex offense. All right, let's turn it over and just really honestly look to score offense. Look to score, play basketball off the flex. Here we go. All right, again, here at the Matha, we've never really run the flex much as an offense. But I put it in every year we were here because it's such a great defensive drill to have to try and defend all those baseline screens, all those down screens, and all the potential one-on-one -on -one that can develop. Now, no matter what offense you decide is best for your team, remember, you pick the offense that will fit your personnel the best. Don't make the personnel bend to fit your offense. You bend the offense to fit the personnel.
you may be in a situation where so many coaches are at the high school level where you only have one postman. And no matter what you run, you're going to have to have at least one postman in there. So the two, three offense can be very effective using just one postman. And you've got your four perimeter players who are busy screening and cutting, doing all the good things you work on in, in the breakdown drills every day. Here in our two, three, we got our one and two men out at the guard spots, three and four at the wings, and we have a postman with total freedom inside. He can go block to block as he follows the ball. He can do anything he can to get open. Or he can be a great screener for that guard who runs a good hard basket cut. We will always keep all four of these perimeter spots filled. Always keep all four spots filled. We recommend, and again I say suggestions, because you can break the pattern any time if you get a great shot. So we recommend if you make a guard to guard pass that you will screen away. We recommend if you make a guard to forward pass, you basket cut and they rotate to fill those two spots. This gives us what? Great spacing, great movement. And before we ever think of throwing it into the postman, let's just look at that rotation. There we go. Right, he screens away. He's going to make a basket cut. He looks real hard. He swings. They fill all spots. He hits. He hits. Forward to guard. Guard to guard pass. We screen away. Guard to forward. We cut. We basket cut. We basket cut. That's the rule you need to remember. If you throw it to a forward, basket cut. If you throw it to a guard, you're going to screen for the other guard. Now, we don't want to become robotic and get married to the offense. So sometimes, instead of reversing it, we might throw it right back to the new forward. Right? Basket cut, hit back out, and right back and cut again. See? And we can keep on doing that, hit and go. We can hit and go, hit and go, that's it. Move, move, full speed that more, full speed, cut, cut hard, good. As that middle's starting to open up, hold it right there now. Let's bring the postman into play here a little bit. If he realizes those cuts are really working, he might move up a little bit and he follows the ball. Therefore, they'll have him as a great screener when he goes inside. So let's follow the ball in the high area, kind of like in a circle. All right, here we go. Cut hard. There's a good screen for us. See right there. Boom. He moves. Keep following the pass. Keep following the pass. He's looking for the ball. Looking for the ball. All right. Let it get reversed all the way around, all the way around. Hit. Screen away now. That's it. Cut hard. Postman's got to keep moving. He's got to follow the ball. Very hard to defend. All right. Hold it right there. So, guard to guard pass. We recommend that the guard will screen away through, through the pass. Guard to forward, we think we're going to make a good basket cut. Now we're going to put the defenders on these guys. Maybe we'll start right here. The two man will have the ball. Let's say our postman is high. Maybe we hit the postman and on a basket cut, boom, we open up for a layup. Go ahead. Go hard. All right. You'll get that more often than you think. Full speed now. Good basket cut. Here we go. All right. In this case, what can happen sometimes is the defender on the postman really drops off to get the cutter, and the postman opens up with a little baby jump shot. Go hard. Get him, Danny. Get that cutter. Hit him. That's it. Out of baby. Good. And rebound the offense. All right. Let's swing it around and see if we can get some good shots. Because that's the name of any offense. Get good shots. Might get one earlier, I don't know. Got to look at the basket, look at the score. There we go, oh yes sir. So you get that kind of movement on two, three, and you can do a lot of damage, and that's the way you do it with just one postman. I think every offense, no matter what you decide to run, you need set plays. Very often it's the idea of you want to get the ball in the hands of one of your real good scores. Set plays can do that for you. The play we call America's play, because I think everybody runs it, because it's so tough to stop, is where we actually screen for the screener. Again, I'm back to where you ignore the screener. So in this case, we're going to have the two-man screen across for the 
three man who is going to post up and we're going to be able to feed the post. If it's in there, we'll hit the postman. Here we go. America's play. Driving hard, good screen. And we hit him, he's in there. Scores. If we can't hit the postman, the two high posts are going to turn and form a double screen for our two man who will come off for the jump shot. So now we have screen the screener. Watch the two top men screen the screener who is number two who's screened across. Here we go. And he rips over for his jump shot. And we rebound the offense. That's it one more time. Let's do it at good game speed. Good game speed. That's it. Good. Rip off. That's it. Good. Great. And rebound the offense. Great position to rebound in there. You have a triangle to hit the offensive board. Now let's put the defenders out there and take a good look at how these set plays work. First we're going to try America's play with the defenders in there and we're going to feed the post. Here we go. Now the second phase, which is what you're going to get most often, is going to be the jump shot off the double screen. Now rebound the offense. All right, good. Now what will happen sometimes, because the defender will really try and stop that double, is the cutter will actually fade and he'll get a different kind of jump shot. Here we go. So you could run that obviously to either side, to either side, right side, left side, but I think they call it America's play because it's a tough one to defend and it gives you great backboard coverage. Another one we have is out of our five game set, we'll run a stack. Your wings are going to cross underneath. Two and three are going to cross and come out on the opposite side and we get right into our five game. Here we go. Screen away. That's it. Swing the ball. All right. We got him in there and he scores. So the fist can be a great way to relieve pressure defense by crossing those underneath wings. One more time. Fist. And of course, if we couldn't feed inside, we would reverse it, turn the offense over. But it's a great way to put you into your motion. These sets are very effective against a team that plays excellent half-court man-to-man pressure defense because it enables your wings to get open. Let's try the stack, and we're going to run fist. This time, one more time, watch him turn the offense over and get the shot on the other side. All right, reverse it. Reverse it. Good screen away, screen away. Now we got him, all right. There he is. So that constant movement and screening and cutting can do great things for you. Now let's take a look at Delaware. Delaware, another set play, which gives us a little back screen action at the end of it. We have a down screen here. He goes up high, drives hard left, then the back screen takes place in the wing. And we're going to do that now at gain speed. Good job, man. Good job. Back screens are hard to defend. He drives hard. Here's the back screen. Very hard to defend. Let's take a look at that now with the defenders coming out and picking their men up and see how effective it can be. Let's go ahead and run Delaware. Again, one of the hardest things to defend is back screens. But remember this, the play will make itself. In this case, on the back screen,